Hi all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're looking at the AP Statistics 2019 free response questions. And uh, as usual, if I have any mistakes, um, I'll put them in the description below. The description also have my own PDF solutions to the problems if you wanna just look at the answers without having to watch the video. Okay, so I have a medical researcher surveyed a large group of men and women about whether they take medicine as prescribed. The response variables were categorized as never, sometimes, or always. The relative frequency of each category is shown in the table. One person from those surveyed will be selected at random. What is the probability that the person selected will be someone whose response is never and who is a woman? So never and a woman is this one right here. So that's 0 0.0636. What is the probability the person selected will be someone whose response is never or who is a woman? So what I would need to do in principle is add up the never column and the woman column. So I would add up one, which ones would be never or a woman? It'd be the one, two, this one, this one. Yeah, so I would add up these. So I'm just gonna use my calculator, 0.53 plus, got uh, 0 0.5864. 64. Just want to double check that that seems right. Yep, 0.5864. What is the probability the person selected will be someone whose response is never given that the person is a woman? So now we're going to look at only the women area and we want to know the probability that they're a, a woman uh, or that they they would say never given that they're a woman. So um, if you want to remember this is sort of conditional probability but the probability of B given A is really the probability of A and B divided by the probability of A. And so in this case, it's like the probability that they're both women and never, 0 0.0636, divided by the probability that, they're given, that they are a woman, which is 0 0.53. And so that, I do the subtraction, I get 0 0.12. Okay. So that's just box in my answers here for each one of these. Okay, for the people surveyed, are the events of being a person whose response is never and being a woman independent? Um, so for independence, uh, what does it mean? You could either think of it as it is probability B given A equals the probability of B. Right? And so in this case, the probability of um, B given A, we, we already did this one, this is 0 0.12. And what's the probability that the person is a woman? Um, no, probability that it is, actually, so it's probability. Um, so uh, let me list my thing. A is a uh, woman and B is it's never. Okay, so the probability is never given it's a woman. Does it equal the probability that it's just never. Probability never is, also, is just 0.12. So yes, they're independent. You could also use this relationship, the probability of B and A is equal to the probability of B, probability of A. Uh, for independence, I think that check would work and that equality uh, will hold. Assume that in a large population, the probability that a person will always take medicine as prescribed is 0 0.54. If five people are selected at random from the population, what is the probability that at least four of the people selected will always take medicine as prescribed? Support your answer. So you have to recognize this is a binomial distribution. It has a fixed number of trials, it's five, and the probability of success, which is them taking the medicine, is 0 0.54. So we'll call this x. Um, so the so this I can rewrite is probability that x is greater than or equal to four is really the probability that we had four exactly four or we had exactly five. And you could do this would be by binomial formula five choose four, p to the four, which would be uh, zero point uh, sorry zero point five four to the fourth times point four six which is one minus P um, plus five choose five, um, 0 0.54 to the fifth times 0 0.46 to the zero. And you know, if you do the calculations, uh, you will find that, uh, I think what I get, I got 0 0.241 when I did this. 
because this calculation is like 5 times this times this because 5 choose 4 is 5 so let me just double check that again make sure I got that right and then 0.54 to the fifth oh whoops what happened oh do, do, do. Yeah, 0.241. Okay. So hope you found that helpful. Um, I will let me know how you did in that problem or if I made any mistakes, and I'll see you in the next video.